Hello, my loves. Welcome to your bi-weekly love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September, for September 1st through the 15th. I normally do weeklies, guys, but I'm going in for that LASIK surgery, so I didn't know what the recovery is going to be like. I just figured I'd have this out there so you guys have something for the next couple of weeks. Um, I want to give a special shout out to Barbara at Quartz Rose Tarot. She's going to be hitting a year on YouTube in September. I believe it's September 1st. She's almost at 30,000. So guys, if you would like to check her out and uh, let's get her to 30,000 by the time she hits one year on YouTube, that would be awesome. Okay, the link is in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay. All right, my loves, let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here today for my Capricorns, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. September 1st through the 15th, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So my loves, if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. If you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every single week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, um, runes, crystals, NIV version Bibles, um, any type of self-help book uh, to help you along your spiritual journey. Um, anything from, you know, Joyce Meyer, Reiki cleansing, chakra healing, whatever helps you along your spiritual journey okay um in the description box below you will find my email manifest love 777 at gmail just go ahead and shoot me your youtube name with what you would like to manifest in the giveaway um, the last week of the month, I will be announcing a winner um, doing a $250 giveaway that winner will be selected randomly okay so like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced so that you don't miss it, okay? Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle Capricorn. Now, guys, this could be your energy, could be your person's energy, all right? So take it as it resonates. So Capricorn, what I'm feeling here, and this is kind of specific for some of you, uh, some of you may be going through a divorce process and you have someone here that wants to stall or stop the divorce process because they're going to lose a lot of money if they get divorced. Like this person may have to pay child support or they may have to pay, um, you know, uh, what's that called? Alimony or just, you know, split everything in half. So this person is coming to that realization that maybe it's better to try to talk this out, show love and get that apology you know what I'm saying but the other person already knows like yeah I know you want to say you're sorry now <laughs> I know but you know you're not falling for it okay um so someone here is fully aware that the other person wants to reconcile if you guys are going through a divorce process only because they're trying to save money because they don't want to you know come out of pocket right now for those of you who are not married and for those of you who are not going through a divorce um what I am feeling here is that we have a relationship that was supposed to lead to marriage, supposed to lead to abundance, a relationship that was solid. Um, I feel like it's gone stagnant. I feel like it's over and I feel like, you know, you moved on to someone new. You know what I'm saying? You've moved on to someone new um, and you quite possibly have this person from the past coming back, uh, wanting a second chance, but you don't trust them. Okay. Now, under the deck, we've got the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is an energy of mind games. The, uh, the Five of Swords is an energy of wanting to win at all costs. The Five of Swords is a butthead energy. <laughs> the Five of Swords is somebody that, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's also a card of defeat, feeling tired, giving up on a situation. Um, this is somebody that just wants to one-up the other person in any way that they can, you know, freedom. So this could be you, Capricorn. So we've got study here. Someone here may be trying to figure out how to free themselves from a situation. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Capricorns, please? We've got strategy. Okay, yeah, someone here. Okay, we've got someone here that maybe wanted to be free, wanted to end something, uh, but now they're coming up with a plan to come back, whether that's because they don't want to come out of pocket in court or whether that's because whatever reason they're, they're coming back here. So someone's coming up with a plan deception, but it's a lie. So whatever this person is coming up with, they're not really showing you their true colors. Okay. If they come in saying, Oh, I love you. I don't want to be it. It's not real. And you know, it's not real. Someone here knows it's not real. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Capricorns, please? 
joyous fun. This person may want to take you out. They may, um, yeah, see, you're in the process of wanting to let go of a connection here. Someone here is in the process of wanting to let go of a connection, but now you're back and forth with someone new um, and this old person. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you're dealing with the situation here where with the new person, you have this fear of loving again because of what you went through with this ex, right? So you fear the new love and at the same time, you know the old love is a joke. So someone here is caught between a rock and a hard place. That could be you, Capricorn. Could be your person. I don't know. balance uh spirituality and practicality so capricorn you may be in this energy of i want to be a good person i want to do the right thing um but you also have to be practical here Cap here capricorn being a good person doesn't mean that you have to you know what i'm saying take everyone's crap you know that's not what it's about even if you look i mean i'm christian so i'm going to take this from a christian perspective but you guys take it however way you want. But if you go back to the Bible, there's a part where, you know, uh, I'm sure everyone knows the story. Jesus feeds thousands of people with like five loaves of bread and two fish or something like that, right? The next day, he goes across the river. Everyone follows him and he tells them, listen, you're not here because you're hungry. You're here. Cause, you're not here because you love me. You're here because uh, you're hungry. So if Jesus Christ himself, you know, can tell people, listen, I don't, I'm not going to be taken advantage of, you know, you can too. So as much as you want to be a good person here, you have to be practical. If this person is not, um, you know, if this person is not treating you well, or if you know, this person is up to no good, you know, don't let get, you know, surrender to the divine and let it be, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to make decisions based on guilt, Capricorn spirit. What messages do we have here for my Capricorns, please? Shame. So I feel like somebody is going to come back and they are going to tell you that um, they're ashamed of what they did. They're going to come back telling you that you are, you know, with the wheel of fortune here. Because I feel like the shoe is on the other foot now. This person played a lot of games. This person maybe embarrassed you, okay? Um, you know, th this person played a lot of games. The shoe may be on the other foot now. This is the Wheel of Fortune card. So this person may say, oh, you know, do you really want to get divorced? We'll be so ashamed in front of everybody. Or like, you know what I'm saying? This person may even try to shame you for wanting to leave. They may actually play mind games. Because don't forget, they have a strategy here, Capricorn, okay? Now, Capricorn, you could be doing this to somebody else. So someone here is trying to use the shame game you know what i'm saying to like oh are you really gonna do this to me are you really gonna whatever you know to try to get someone to guilt someone to to reconcile the death card a time of natural transition and transformation but things have changed here things have changed here there's something that is meant to come to an end um and this person is trying to stop it or block it for whatever reason spirit what messages do we have here for my capricorns please the runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So we have someone here that may sabotage connections because they have a fear of commitment. Okay. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. So this is somebody who likes to sabotage connections, run off and then come back. Okay. Um, this could be a karmic soulmate possibly could be, uh, but you know, that's not a healthy way to live. You know, this is not a healthy way to live. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Capricorns, please? So we have quest. Gossip. Destiny. And acceptance. So, you know, Capricorn, now I'm, I'm getting that shame thing. You may have a... Um, a lot of people with your business in their mouth, okay? You've made a decision. You're following through with this decision. You may have a lot of people gossiping about it, but I feel like, honestly, you don't care. You've accepted your destiny. You've accepted the fact that it's time to move on. You've accepted that, you know, whatever the case may be, but there are a lot of people, and I feel like this person may come in trying to guilt you to doing the right thing. Look at how many people are talking about us. Look at this. Look at that. Whatever else. And as much as you maybe want to do the right thing, the right thing according to this person you have to be practical practical here if this person is deceiving you if you're not happy you don't need to be there ten of swords you know that's that divorce that's that ending and the four of wands the 
the Four of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Swords. Oh, this is not good, Capricorn. This is bad news. The Ace of Cups. This is bad news. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. And the King of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries Energy. So here's the deal, Cap, okay? For those of you who are currently married to this person, this is a divorce taking place. This is somebody walking away, emotionally disconnecting because they feel lonely. They feel rejected. They just, they feel like this person makes you feel like crap. Okay. And with the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Swords, trust and believe that this, this wanting to rekindle of, oh, I'm going to give you my heart and everything. It's a lie with that Seven of Swords. It's a lie. Okay. With the King of Wands and the Hierophant, this person is coming off as committed, traditional, stable, when in the, the back of their mind, they're up to something. This person is up to something that king of wands will win at all costs now it's the same thing even if you're not married guys this is a relationship that ended could be a soulmate connection doesn't have to be but you were supposed to have a future with this person you were supposed to build a life with this person maybe you're living with this person maybe you have a family with this person but it's over you're tired of feeling lonely you're tired tired of feeling rejected you're tired you've emotionally disconnected from this person and when they say i love you it is a lie plain and simple it is a lie you know what I'm saying? They will do or say whatever they have to do to keep you in this relationship or to keep you in this marriage. Now, here we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We've got the Five of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles. The Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. We have the World card. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Could be Taurus, could be Virgo. Six of Pentacles. And the Ace of Wands. So you see... Now, again, let me jump back. It's really rare that I'm very specific with this, but let me just jump back. If you're a single parent going towards a divorce, what we have here is someone coming towards you with love, saying that they have regret, saying that they feel guilty or trying to make you feel guilty and have regret with that five of cups. Um, this person knows that if things end with this world card, that they're going to have to pay out with that seven of pentacles. They're going to have to invest. That six of pentacles talks about a giving energy. And here I'm seeing... Uh, Queen of Coins and the Page of Wands. That's a mother and a child, a father and a child. So it could it could be that somebody's going to have to owe child support if something ends or alimony or something. And that's why this person is coming in with a new beginning in communication. So they may come in trying to seduce you with that ace of wands or give you their heart but it's a lie now for those of you who don't are not in a position where there's divorce or child support or anything like that we have somebody here coming back saying that they feel guilty saying that they feel bad or trying to make you feel guilty and feel bad saying that they want to invest in a connection saying that they are going to um you know, commit, saying that the past is in the past, that they're going to be loyal. But with that Six of Pentacles and that Ace of Wands, I feel like this person is, there's still going to be an imbalance here because this person is still going to be looking for new lovers, okay? They're still going to be talking to other people and other options. And it's a, it's a deception. It's deceiving. This person is a liar. They are a liar. They have a fear of commitment. They have a fear of commitment, so they keep their options open so they don't fall in love with one person. Um, with the Ten of Swords and the Four of Pentacles... We have the Four of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Page of Wands, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy, the Eight of Cups, and the Three of Swords. So what we have here, what we have here is somebody... I feel like, uh, Capricorn, if this is your side, you have tried to hold on for the, to this connection for a long time. You really have. You've really fought to keep this relationship together. You have fought to keep this family together. I feel like with the Four of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, um, you have made offers to this person and they've been rejected. You've tried. You've tried to like, you know, but well, what about the kids? Maybe, you know, stuff like that. Everything that you have brought to the table to try to make this connection work, this person has rejected it. Okay. And with the Eight of Cups, and the three of swords you had no choice with all the heartbreak that this person was putting you through but to feel you know emotionally disconnected that's it seven of swords and the seven of pentacles ace of cups and the four of swords yeah i feel like this person tells you that they love you but they sleep on you this person doesn't do anything in this connection and there's a long history here of this person lying to you cheating on you hurting you tell me about the hierophant we've got the four of wands tell me about the king of wands 
the two of swords you see so their words say that they're committed that they want you that they want to be with you but their actions with that king of wands because wands is about action it doesn't you know what i'm saying they don't they don't keep those promises with the two of swords they don't they, they so that with the words they say one they, they don't put their money where their mouth is um tell me about the knight of cups we've got the strength card leo energy the five of cups and the ace of cups Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the Five of Cups. So, guys, Knight of Cups and the Strength card, I feel like this person, whatever love or passion they were holding back from you when when you guys were in this energy now they're going to come forward and give it to you they're going to say they feel bad for the way they treated you let me give you my cup of love with the seven of pentacles and the ace of pentacles let's get remarried let's renew our vows let's commit let's move in together i want to invest in this connection and the page of wands and the five of cups again this person is going to tell you all about how guilty and how bad they feel Page of Wands, though, are promises that can very easily fizzle out. Don't forget that, okay? Now, if you're dealing with a court situation where there's child support involved, this person, again, they're going to come towards you. They're going to give you all that love and passion that they withheld from you. But it's because they know that, you know, if this ends, if this ends, um, they're mourning their money. They're mourning the money with that Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles that they would have to pay for their kids or for, you know, someone here has to pay out child support or alimony. They, and they don't want to do that. They don't want to do that. So tell me about the world card the eight of pentacles tell me about the queen of pentacles the knight of swords so this person wants to work on having a new beginning with you they they're going to tell you that that was the old me this is the new me um, but these are quick promises knight of swords this is somebody that's just coming in wanting that victory they want to rush in they want you to commit again so you don't you know what i'm saying they want you to commit again tell me about the six of pentacles Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, Ace of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like you're going to quickly find here, you're going to quickly find here that it's still going to be imbalanced. You're not going to trust this person and that even if they come off as committed, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles, even though you're living a life maybe where there's a lot of money, this person is still... Um, it still has other lovers. Like I'm honestly getting someone here that's well off financially that, you know, cheats a lot. Okay. Um, other than that, I mean, if this is, um, you know, if this is a marriage coming to a close, you know what I'm saying? It's still going to be, uh, you know, you're married to this person and they're going to look for other lovers. Okay. And with the 10 of wands, you're just going to get tired all over again. Yeah, you're just going to get tired all over again because look, this person's going to come in saying that they want to work on this connection. You're going to know. You're going to know that something's happening behind your back. They're offering you these 10 cups, but there's always somebody on the side with that, that lover's card, Gemini energy. And they will sabotage the connection. They will. They sabotage the connection to maybe go sleep with other people or go be with other people. This person is sheerly non-committal. But for some reason, they don't want to let go of you either. Maybe you have a business with this person. Maybe you have financial ties with this person. Maybe you have children with this person. They don't want to let you go. They just want to have their cake and eat it too, period. The challenge here is temperance and the fool, Aries energy, Sagittarian energy. Someone here wants to heal this and they want you to trust them again. They want you to take that leap of faith. The outcome, Page of Swords and the Empress, mother and child. Okay, somebody here may get you pregnant again so that... Um, Someone here may get you pregnant again so that you can't move or you may have a baby to hold someone down. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, Aries, Taurus, Cancerian Energy here. Uh, the truth of the matter is with this Empress card is that you are tied to this person in some way and they're starting to wake up to that fact. Either you have their children, either you're married to them by name, either you share a business with them. They're starting to realize that losing you is going to cost them money or it's going to affect their life. So they're going to do what they can to hold on to you. But make no mistake, Capricorn, that you're still going to feel the imbalance because this person is still going to do what they're doing. Plain and simple. Okay, this person's never going to change. All right. I love you guys. Bye.